All right, everybody, antique motorcycle revival. I am greasy as I can be. I took the um, the old 42 WLA uh, out yesterday, and I got about halfway home, probably three miles from home or something, and uh, four, and my generator light came on. And I, so, you know, and I'm, to be honest, I had some, had a bad generator when I bought it, and I bought one off eBay, and I've been running that thing for a while, so I can't complain, but I'm gonna have, uh, we're gonna rebuild it, and um, we'll put new stuff in it, so we don't have to worry about it for a while. But I wanna talk about that for just a minute, kinda show you what's involved in doing that on one of these old motorcycles. This is the generator. Uh, this bike is, um, has been changed over to a 12 volt generator. Uh, which is uh, somewhere around the pan head era of generators. This thing on top of it right here is an oil slinger. It's designed to, to sling the oil. So, and, um, so I was gonna talk about generators for just a little bit and some of the, some of the differences, how these, the older motorcycles work. The, the, this motorcycle originally came out with a six volt system. This is a 12 volt now. Uh, but it was like that when I got it, or I would have left it alone. But the six volt um, um, setup had a relay that went in and out and um, kept your uh, voltage regulated. And um, these today have a regulator. And so it's a, it's a little bit different uh, of a setup. Uh, they come out with that with the pan heads and started using them that way. and. You can convert these motorcycles over to 12 volt fairly easy. You, you have to change that, this relay, and I wanna show you over here where, where that's at. This is it right here. The re, this, is the reg, this is the regulator, but it's in the same place, looks just like this, as is a relay for it if it was a six volt system. So 12 volts, the advantages of course is, usually they're more dependable, or at least I've heard that, I don't know about how true that is, but they are, the lights will be a little brighter. Probably that's the only real benefit of that. I had to wrestle this thing to get it out. Had a real, had a hard time with it. Um, but anyway, you just take this, this whole bracket right here, just you can see how this works. It just comes off. You got a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt here. And I just move it out of the way, put that in there, keep from scratching it up too awful bad. And then just, pull that generator out and uh, we'll rebuild that thing and and put put another one back in there. The one over here on this, um, the one right here that's on this 73 iron head that we'll get around to someday, uh, that generator actually works on that bike. It's the same exact one. And so uh, they used that generator for a long time. And uh, so what's the difference between then and now and what, you know, how things have uh, kind of, um, evolved over time. This is a, um, I just, I've been working on them. It's a perfect opportunity to talk about this. I've been working on this 70, uh, this is a 71 Honda CT70. First motorcycle I ever rode when I was 10. I restored one one time and had it for six or seven years. I sold it a few months ago and now I've got another one. So um, I actually um, worked a day on this and I've got the parts together and I got this thing running. It runs, it'll just fire right off, uh, but it doesn't have a muffler yet. And I've got a few things to purchase in order to get it finished up. I'm gonna leave this one crusty for a while, but anyway, yesterday I didn't have spark on this one. So you can imagine this one wasn't generating uh, when I came in, the light was on, No, and then this one had no spark. And I won't explain the difference between these setups and uh, the way they are today. The, um, the Road King over here has what's called a stator in it, which is, this is a mag, a mag, a magneto. I'll explain the difference. A stator has a different, uh, all the way around, and, and a stator is actually an AC. It builds an AC current, so that's what that one does. It has an AC stator in it. The AC goes out to a rectifier, it's what you would, I guess you would call it a rectifier. It's a diode system that 
converts it from AC to DC voltage. So it's a rectifier, regulator, built-in deal that, that gets your voltage exactly so. And they're, they're a really good system. I mean, they've come a long way. You gotta remember, and I got some comments on this thing on why they leak oil. The reason that these motorcycles, a lot of this stuff, the technology, it's 82 years old, everybody. I mean, if somebody says to me, well, the Honda don't do that, or the Kawasaki, they got this from, from them. This is where they learn how to do it. And so this technology is old, it's different. These generators was just, you know, they, they come up with a better plan later on. So on the Hondas here, they have a mag, which is a magneto, it's just simply this. It has magnets, the magnets go in there, and when it's turning, it creates a current, and that current sends it to uh, the coal that's inside here on this bike. And, and then the coil um, has a, it has a feed, a negative, goes through your points, breaks it on the timing, and then fires the engine, and that's how they work. This bike, I've, the one I had for years, I never run a battery in it. The only, the, the, what they do with these is they put a six volt battery in them, or a 12 volt, depending on the year, and they would just feed off of this magneto straight into the battery, and that's how they regulated it. So just kind of fed into the battery. But this is a magneto, which is a different, a different setup. This is a generator setup. And so you have the generator that keeps your battery charged. The battery then goes through your switch, comes through the coil here, breaks at the points, okay? Breaks at the points, and then, which is on the other side, and then uh, that's, you know, fires the engine. Harley Davidson's uh, actually both fire at the same time, but uh, that's another story altogether. But this is the magneto i did a video a while back rebuilding this thing because i couldn't get anybody to do it and one guy in michigan he had a waiting list eight months this goes on the racer that is not here right now because i have stuff scattered all over the place with it but uh, it's, it is actually coming together really good but these magneta this is a magneta that's just like the honda the uh, old style they had these back then now here's the thing about this if you're gonna run a Magneta on a, a bike, a lot of times they did this on racers especially because you don't need a battery, see? The Magneta generates its own current and then fires. So this is a built-in, all built-in system. It has magnets, okay, uh, around it. It has a, a, the tumbler inside. It generates its own power, comes up, feeds the points that's on top with a condenser. These two plug wires come out of there, and this is actually one that fits on this motorcycle. And so, this is like a self-contained unit. You know, it's self-contained magneto. That's the magneto on the Honda that's built inside there. You don't need a battery. So, you know, and the generator, though, is a different setup. You do need a battery, and the reason for the generator and the regulator and the battery and all that is so you can have lights. You know, so if you've got a racer, you don't need lights. Matter of fact, you're going to strip everything down. You want a self-contained unit like this uh, that doesn't have, because you don't need all of that. So this is the setup for the lights. You know, you have a brake light on this one, on this one. I have three and you have a horn and different things. And so that's why that it's, um, that's why that's like it is. So that's why I kind of go over the system, the different things here and, um, Mags, Magneta, this is the newer style. This is the old style Magneta built in for the racers especially. Uh, tractors, a lot of your tractors have these on them, a lot of tractors. And that way a tractor doesn't need a battery, you see, it's built in, spark. And so I'm gonna, we're gonna get this generator taken apart, see what its problem is. This one here is an old one that I had, uh, may have some parts in there. If it's just the brushes, then I'll be able to swap the brushes out and um, try to get this thing going. If not, I'm gonna have to order some parts and, uh, and try to get it back going again, so. But anyway, that's, the, that's where we're at today. We are working on the generator and uh, gonna try to get this thing back on the road. We don't like to be down for long, because I like to ride. I don't have a garage queen. Uh, all of these motorcycles, they get ridden all the time. And uh, so, so there we are, Antique Motorcycle Revival, everybody. Generators, magnetos, stators, different, uh, the different setups. And, and uh, we'll, once we get, uh, get this thing running, we'll get
get us another video out uh, for what's coming up next. Hopefully we'll have that race refrain back pretty soon and um, got everything ready to go here. And as soon as I get that frame back, I can start really moving with this thing pretty quick and get an idea of what I'm gonna need. So we'll see you all. If, uh, one more thing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a whole lot. If you've not done so, do that. You can tap the notification bell and that'll tell you when we put up a new video, just send you a notification for that. So we appreciate everybody that's already done that and appreciate those of you that are uh, willing to do that for us. Helps us out a lot. Thanks everybody.